Hello, my tribe. This is Maria. I hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, so the other day I put a post in a few of my sites and asked uh, how can, uh, what are you struggling with? And uh, I thought that I would come over here and address um, one of the items. Uh, one of the items a friend of mine said is struggling to stay motivated to work out, to exercise. Well, that is a challenge that many, many people have, right? I mean, that's one of the first things I hear. Uh, hey, Mansa, this is for you. <laughs> uh, this is a challenge that I hear a lot of people when they come to me. And uh, actually, that's one of the reasons that uh, people end up hiring me as a personal trainer. But uh, let me tell you a few things. So uh, how do how did I get over here to where I'm at that I consistently work out? Um, first of all, motivation is something that will pass by. It will come and will go. Motivation might give you like a little, little boost, right? You're gonna say, yes, I'm gonna do it. But then it kind of, you know, slows down and dumps because you kind of go back to that normal life and there is maybe not that person next to you. Um, oh, you're just doing the top, it's awesome. I got introduced to it, exactly wants it. And uh, so, um, you know, the motivation is gonna stay very short period of time. So we gotta think about this. In order for us to, uh, to build a habit uh, on anything, including exercise, we have to put the reps in. And what I mean with that is we have to do it no matter what. And um, in the exercise that I gave in this group over here, they're called the tabras. They're short, right? They were four minutes and we pick one or two movements per time and we do two of those. Some people think that, uh, you know what, that's too short. That's not going to get anywhere else. That's the wrong mindset. Uh, but then the question is, you know, um, well, I get it that it's short. I get it that it can work because uh, even like Munza said, you know, I felt the muscles working and we didn't have to have much equipment about it. I love it. So the question is why, let's say that you had, you made the time to show up, you know, that you knew that was 1230 Eastern every time and you say you are free. That's assumed that you're free. And it says, what made you not to come, right? So that is where we have to dig into our mind over here is to really see what's going on. So sometimes could be life, could be phone calls, could be work, could be the children, could be a lot of things, right? A lot of times we make excuses. And why are we making excuses? Because we really, a lot of times, haven't thought about why do we want to do this? You know, let's say that you look in the mirror every day and you're like, you know, you're fairly good shape. And, you know, it's not like there is any disease going on. Uh, and life is okay health-wise. You don't feel, eh, you know, you don't feel like a poor energy or this and that and that. So, but you're not moving much. But, you know, you know that exercise is good for you because everybody says it is. And it is. It is. There's no question about it. You know, it's the best thing we can do for the brain. I keep saying that. I keep saying that. Especially on times like we are right now, that's what we need the most. One of the things we need the most is to move, to keep our neurotransmitters up, fired up, our dopamine, our serotonin, so we can continue to make good decisions and choices as we go. So the question is, so why? So so what is, you know, if, if, if life in general is okay, you know, and there is no big reason, I guess, for us to do this. Why am I going to get outside my comfort zone to kind of go and sweat and have to change clothes, take shower, whatever, whatever, put the time into it. Well, you know, because exercise, it is something that intrinsically and fundamentally is going to help our quality of life in the short term and especially in the long term when we become consistent. You know, we got to be thinking about the long term as well. And it says, okay, why do I want to do this in the long term? Why do I want to build the habit? So there has got to be a, a why. You know, and for me, my why an exercise was really, I understood fundamentally how great, you know, it helps control my brain, how, uh, how it makes me feel better. 
and how it makes me feel crappy if I'm not doing consistently. The question here is consistently, right? Look, sometimes we go into, there is that battle, you know, I'm going to go after it. I'm going to go, go. So the motivation and we go after we, let's say we, we show up to free videos and you go online, YouTube, this and that and that. You're all on fire. You're on fire to get it, right? And then what happens is, you know, you do a few things. The intensity is great, but there is no consistency. You know, the persistency uh, being persistent on something is going to get us. It's going to get us something. Now, the consistency of doing that thing is what's going to is going to help us to keep it. So in order to build that habit of exercise, we got to be really understanding why is this important? And is it short term, medium term, long term? You know, and that is about yourself. It is about the family. It's about your kids. It's about grandparents. It's about a loved one. Whatever that is, it is a prevention of disease that you might have some fears about it. You know, what is it? You know, is that about how you know how great you feel? But maybe if you're not exercising, you don't know how great you can feel. So it's about being curious about the process that will do for you. And only when we build that consistency of doing regularly, even if it is for five minutes every day, even if it is for one minute outside the bed. So now your brain got to interpret like, okay, I got to do this. I'm doing this. I'm, it's putting the reps, right? Putting the reps every day, putting the reps every day. And for, and, and there is, you know, and, and again, we'll get to the point that you're like, okay, I do a minute, I can do five, or I can do a tabra, I can do two of them, I can do a tabra in the morning, and then at lunch, just before lunch, and then, you know, what? one after the kids are bad or something, or I invite a friend. And look, doing this process alone is very challenging. You know, when we're trying to create a, a, a habit like this, it's challenging. So we have to have accountability. You know, I'm, I'm doing this uh, run challenge that I'm doing, right? I mean, shit, my, I feel my, I feel my, my muscles. I feel my body. I, I, I feel like I'm walking like an old lady and I'm stretching. I'm doing this stuff, you know, but this is challenging. And the reason that I'm posting, you know, the results, I'm doing videos is my way of staying accountable because that I, I, I told you that I was going to do it. So now, you know, I can be over here and do nothing. So what do I do? Do the videos afterwards? I do the, the pictures, you know, I do this. So, so how are you going to stay accountable to this thing that you're trying to implement or create or change? So accountability is important to build that discipline and to build then once we build the discipline, then to become consistent doing it gets to the point that you say, you know what? Yes, I, I must do this. And you know what? Uh, nothing's going to come between this. I know sometimes it's hard when we have family and kids and all that kind of stuff. But there is a time maybe that the, the kids are in, college, in school or, you know, you have a break from, from work. Or maybe, you know, you know, like you call the time out and it says, I need a time out. Put that five minutes and do a half a time, but a two minutes if you want to. It doesn't matter what it means. You're teaching your brain right here. Okay, to move in that direction. Yes, I'm doing it. Yes, I'm doing it. And I felt great. And you rejuvenate. That's how it is. To me, you know, the accountability is important. So a lot of times when I do my workouts, you know, not only this run thing, I put pictures out there. And it's not like I'm counting, oh, how many likes I'm going to do. No, 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 it's none of that. Because I feel like, okay, maybe I'm helping somebody. You know, maybe somebody's watching and they're going to feel motivated to do it. My drive is to help people right? My drive is, my, my passion is, my mission is to change people, to transform people's lives. And there is multiple ways that we can do this, you know? So that is one way. So I put it out there. I did it. I feel good about it. I promise. Then I have a visual. I have my fitness calendar that I showed the other day in a video. You know, I use that. I look at that thing in the fridge and I said, okay, well, what is the minimum? I said, my goal is four times a week, you know? You know, some guy, okay, I got Monday a workout, Tuesday, Wednesday a workout. I said, okay, now I got four days and I got a three at least minimum. So you see, I'm visually seeing it. So what I want you to discover is what do you need, right? What do you like, first of all? Because if you don't like the movements, if you don't like the type of workouts, that's going to be really hard. So find something you like, find something you like, right? 
Uh, you got to put the reps, start with a minute every day, go up to two minutes, go up to a tabra, go, just do it. You have to do it. There is no way around of building a habit. And you have to eliminate the barriers, you know, to get it done, right? So that's part of it. So as you continue to do every day, it's going to become a habit. And then you increase the, the volume, if that's something you want. If you want to grow the muscles, put some goals behind it, right? Like I do, four times a week, minimal, and everything else is brownie points. It's great, awesome, right? And remember that consistency is the key to this. It's the key. So find your accountability to help you get through it. This is extremely important, folks, extremely important. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Monse, I know that uh, if you're still online, is this helpful to you? Is there any questions that I can answer since this, this was a specific question from you? If you are is still listening, let me know. Or if anybody else watching, let me know if uh, there is anything that you want to ask me about exercise. And I put a post, you know, what you're struggling with. Um, go ahead and uh, put... Uh, you know, some answers are put it right here and I'll address in another, um, another uh, Facebook Live another time. I'm here to serve and I'm here to help you during these times. I know that it's challenging for all of us. Isolation, this and that, you know, we cannot see people. We're stuck in the house. Um, you know, we are maybe struggling financially. Maybe we're struggling emotionally. Maybe we're struggling with relationships because we, we are concerned about the parents, concerned about the children, and then we're concerned about our health, how we're doing. So Mun says, so is there, did I answer your question? Uh, is there anything that um, you want to commit, you want to share? Uh, was any of those um, tips that I shared uh, helpful? Yes, it was helpful. I need to make a commitment uh, to mark it as an appointment. Okay, yes. And uh, let me suggest uh, you change the language. How about that? I need to make. So that is very demanding, right? So how about this? I get to do something. You know, I get to mark my calendar. And you know what? I would say, once I'm done over here, get your freaking calendar. If you want the link for my uh, fitness calendar that I put in the fridge, I'll be glad to give you that. Download, I laminate it, I use it every month, but you don't have to laminate, you can just print a new version. Put that in your fridge, you know, play around with your kids um, and, um, and all that, okay? So, all right, if you have any other things that I can uh, share or answer, let me know. And, um, you know, remember, you get to move your body, you get to... Uh, you know, make appointments in your calendar, block the calendar. And uh, even if it is for two minutes, you see that pop in, that alert in your calendar, go and do it right there, right there. Do something at least, you know, that you feel like, okay, oh, I got to change the clothes. I got to do this. No, no, no. Maybe do something right there to get you it. And then you says, oh, I feel pretty good. Then you, if you want to change your clothes, you know, and, and, uh, and, and, and then get some more, great. Awesome. Yes, I'll send you the link. Okay. So hopefully for those who are watching this another time, it was helpful uh, as well. I know this is a topic that a lot of folks uh, have, um, you know, difficulties. So thanks for the question, Monsi. And keep me posted how it goes. Okay. Love you. Bye-bye.